Don't just kill two birds. I am an English language means I am, I was, I will be. And then at the same time, you want to use the same phrase to refer to the name of God. No, if you, let me finish, please. If you had two I am's, before Abraham was I am, I am, which is I am Yahweh, then you have a point. But in the Greek, there is only one. In the Hebrew, in Moses, when he talks about this, it's quite clear. There's no like, you know, someone is saying I am this. So when Jesus Christ said, before Abraham was Yahweh, what is he claiming? He's not claiming he's Yahweh. Are you saying this is what English means? If I wrote in my English essay, before Abraham was Yahweh, my teacher would say, ah, that means you are claiming to be Yahweh? Um, the, the answer really to, to what you're saying is that in the context of the conversation, they say, um, your father Abraham rejoiced that he was to see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said to him, you are not 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Truly, Jesus said to him, truly, before Abraham was, I am. Now he's talking about himself. Is he claiming to be God there, the name of, of God? Himself. Uh, yes. No. Before Abraham was. I've just explained to you already. And that was that was well, you, you misunderstood the, okay. the context. Could you explain you to me? You misunderstood the context. Can you tell me the text first, no, and then go to the context? Well, I, I explain told, the text. I've told the context. And they are disputing. They are no, saying. No. The text. Text first. Then the context. The very verse before Abraham was I am. Put the name I am back to its original language, and then tell me what the text means, no, and I'm, then I'm, please tell me what the context I'm, means. Okay. The Jews then said to him, I'll no, repeat, repeat what I've said before already. You are not 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. So they took up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went from the temple. It was because he was claiming to be God Excuse me. by saying before Abraham was. You're doing the typical explanation that, that every but, Christians do. Well, now yeah, it's, it's not a typical discussion it's quite anymore. Obviously, it's a Muslim it's quite critiquing it's quite obviously, your text. It's quite obviously the, the meaning of the of the conversation. This is what he was accused of. Accused this of what? Of, of claiming to be God. Absolutely not. You not Let me tell you what it means here. And tell me well, if I'm wrong. Well, no, tell me if I'm wrong. Does Abraham believe in the New Testament? Ex excuse me. Can I does tell you Abraham what I understand from there? Well, you've already and you tell me if I'm wrong. You've already, well, yeah, I've told you and I've told no, no. you you are wrong. No, I'll tell you why you're wrong and tell me no, why, why I'm you've wrong. You've already said it and I'm already contradicting it by pointing out the context was about whether he was claiming to be God or not. Absolutely and not. when he said, before Abraham was, I am, um, they took out thrones to stow at him. I'm which was astonished. he was claiming to be God. No, I'm that astonished why, by the twisting of the word. was stoned and was why he was finally put to death, was proclaiming to be God. Listen, now that's, I am that's I'm certain, truly amazed by well, totally, can you leave that for a second? Total misrepresentation, twisting, deliberate twisting of the words. This is one of the things that Christians I have seen been doing. Well, Here he was saying, look, you thanks are... The, thanks for the insult. Can I... You might at least listen to what we're no, no, saying no, no. I am going to you tell you... These ridiculous no, no, no. Insults. I'm going to establish my point. Allow well, me to tell you. You've already said it. No, 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 no. no. It's utter nonsense. Excuse me, as excuse a, me. As an I am going to demonstrate point. what I said. They were saying, you are not even 50 years old. How do you claim that you know Abraham? Yes. He is saying, truly I tell you, before Abraham was I am, meaning what? I was there. That doesn't mean I am claiming to be God. It is simply saying, I well, well, exist. Well, well, excuse well, 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 me. Where you was he then? Excuse where me. Where was he? Excuse me. If you allow me to now well, there's no teach you something. If you go on talking nonsense, where was listen, he? Listen, listen. When Have you read? Said, where, uh, you answer me a question. When he says, before Abraham was where I am, where was he? I'll tell you in a minute. Where was he? In a second, if you allow me. Well, a second's gone by already. Come Tell on, me. tell me. When somebody says, you are not even 50 years old, and Abraham lived long time ago, how do you claim that you know him? You've seen him. You've met him. Yeah. Right? So That's, what is Jesus' an answer? Slow down. There's something oh, to learn here. An answer. What Relax. Relax. Sometimes well, it takes relaxed, a lot. But you won't no, no, no. Question. Sometimes. Where was Jesus in his meaning? You will not learn Abraham. until you are relaxed. So now, well, no, excuse me. Ridiculous. Excuse me, please. Well, you are not answering. I am question. answering. I am about to, and you are so impatient. Remember the Melchizedek event. 
Melchizedek was a contemporary of Abraham. Without a beginning, without a beginning of days or end of days, without father, without mother, without genealogy. This Melchizedek gave one tenth to Prophet Abraham. Where was Melchizedek? The same question I would say, where was Jesus? Same way Melchizedek where he was. Melchizedek has no beginning, no end, and he was at the time contemporary as well as a priest of some kind with Abraham. Jesus was asked by these Jewish people, how do you say you met Abraham? You're not even 50 years old. They were not asking Jesus Christ, are you claim to be God? That's not why they asked him. There was another place where they asked him and they, he responded and refuted them that he was not God. But Christians don't know, know that. And you think I'm just insulting. Let me finish this verse. Let me finish this. Let me finish this. So in here, in here, in the text here in John, it is simply Jesus saying he was in existence. But pre-existence doesn't make someone divine. What you are guilty of, what the Christian clerics like yourself are guilty of, of this deception that you are making that Jesus is claiming to be God when the text has nothing to do with someone claiming to be God or defending his divinity. It is simply responding that how can you be knowing or meeting Abraham when you are not even 50 years old and Abraham lived hundreds of years earlier. So you are guilty of misrepresenting John's text. Secondly, this issue about Jesus claiming to be God there is not a single verse in the entire New Testament Jesus ever said, I am God or worship me of some kind. Instead, he tells people, I'm going to my God. I'm going to give everything back to God. When all the judgments are over, then everything will be given back to God so that God can be God of all. And he worships God. He says, not according to my will, but your will. Throughout the entire New Testament, he demonstrates that he is a true and sincere and humble worshipper of God. That's what we Muslims say that he was. And we say he called people to God. That's what we Muslims say he was, a messenger, a prophet of God. All right. Well, well, anyway, well, no. um, uh, that is certainly a misinterpretation of the clear meaning of the end of St. John's Gospel. And there are many places where the whole climax of the revelation of Jesus' divinity is clear. None. For example, no example, after the resurrection. Where does he say? After the no, where does he claim? After the resurrection, when uh, Thomas says, no, where does he claim? My Lord and my God, mm -hmm. and Jesus quite clearly accepts that as the uh, completion of his whole leading of St. Thomas to true faith in him. My Lord and my God. Another misrepresentation. No, there's no question that uh, that is a declaration by Thomas that is the climax of the whole of the Gospel of John. My Lord. Do you want my, to hear the Muslim explanation? That what I, I've heard the Muslim explanation. And what is it? That? And it is not plausible at all. Can you tell me what the explanation is? Well, you, you tell me what it is. No, you've heard it. Go ahead. Well, it's all kinds of nonsense, like, such as like trying to take away the divinity. Uh, claim of Jesus when he says before Abraham was, no, no, no. I am. No, no, no. When Thomas said, my Lord and your Lord, what was the Muslim explanation or non-Christian explanation rather? Because it's not Muslims who point out your deliberate misrepresentation of well, John's he, gospel. Well, I, I'll just repeat what he says then. If no, no. What does the Muslim think, say think or non-Christian explain? If you think this is a, mercy, mercy, a misinterpretation, no, just listen As a to Christian it priest, a man of the truth, Jesus says no, excuse to Thomas, me. Sorry, sorry, put sorry. your finger here and not... You just made a statement, I claim. Hands ...and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, mm -hmm. but believing. And Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now that's quite clearly that Jesus is saying that what he has been leading them to do is to believe and Thomas has finally reached belief in what he has been teaching by saying my Lord and my God and that is one of a whole series. Is this, is this the non-Christian explanation? This is the Christian explanation. That's not what I'm asking you for. You claim the non-Christian explanation is nonsense. Give me one explanation that you've heard from a non-Christian like a Muslim. 
Which was an nonsense. Well, so because you are a man of truth, aren't you? Deny, you don't, I'm sure you don't lie, right? To deny right? that is nonsense. No. What did you hear? That is nonsense. Excuse me. In the context. Excuse me. That is nonsense. I am. I am sorry. That Jesus says. I am sorry. Divine. That's not going to be that easy for you. You claim Muslims' explanation you've heard. What was that explanation that was nonsensical? Well, in one way or another, a denial that he means uh, he is God. Excuse me. What was the explanation? Well, you tell me that. No, you made a claim. Well, clearly, clearly, you haven't... No, uh, Muslims say various things at various times. No, it's up to you. Give me one explanation. It's up to you no, to as say, a man of well, truth, no, you give, an give me one explanation that you've heard was nonsense from a Muslim. Well, uh, on this very issue. What I mean is that I've had, I've, had, I've had conversations with Muslims before. On this issue, yes, go ahead. Issue, and how did they explain it? Oh, goodness knows. It's up to you. I can't remember. Is that you, what you're saying? You tell me. Are you saying you don't remember at all? Well, I, I'm not interested in recording it. I want, if you've got an, I'm interested if you've got an because if I you, want to know whether you're mine of truth. What I want now from you is an, is I a, will explain. Is an objection to this I will. text that makes okay, sure. sense. Okay, now look at me now. I'm going to use the same phrase that Thomas used. You are Jesus Christ in this, you know, representation of the event. And I'm saying, look at me. My Lord. No, you're not looking at me. You have to look at me to see how. Is explained. Look, I'm not going to look at you. Because okay, I, I want everyone to look at me. My Lord and my God. Now, am I? Maybe you're Jesus, right? I'm addressing you. My Lord and my God. So when I looked at the sky and said, my God, what did you understand? I'm calling you God? I'm calling me, me God. No, no. Okay, let me try again to this gentleman here. My Lord and my God. Same phrase. Did I somehow claim that you are God or make yourself God? No, no but that is, wait, wait. that is turning wait, wait. these words. No, no, no. That is turning, have, the, you listen to I me. have not finished yet. That, that is me. Relax, 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 no, relax. No, the reason why you relax. think it's nonsensical because you're turning you don't these listen. Words that are a confession I want you to relax. Of Thomas's belief Excuse me, I want you to relax. Kind of no, no, no. Relax. Like a kind of swear word. I want you to relax and nonsense. let me finish. There's no doubt that Excuse me. words, my Lord and my Why are you God, getting so hyper? Are, relax. Are, are, because we're talking relax. about a serious subject. Take a deep and breath and relax, my well, dear I'll priest. Take a deep breath, but I won't do it in your presence. Good night. Good. So, let me continue then. Why are you... Why are you... What was the what was the bit that was not making sense? Well, can we, can we have an elaboration on that? To, to try and uh, explain. No, what time is it? Words. I'm going to just finish. No one reminds me. Yeah. Confessing at last you believe. I'm going to go now. So it's completely contradicting the whole context. But maybe we, maybe we which, continue because I'm not first in the Bible. So maybe, which, maybe, we, maybe we continue. After which, after which um, uh, Jesus said, "You have believed because you have seen me." Listen to those who have not seen and yet have believed. He's talking about the crucial question of faith in his divinity, which Thomas has last uh, reached. And he confirms that both before and after Thomas's confession. So that is the context of it, is Jesus's divinity. That was the reason why he'd been put to death. That was the reason for his whole teaching of the apostles, and finally Thomas has reached that climax. So, which, which part of it, of my friend my here, was was not making sense at the time, or what were the way he's explaining? Well, would you would you be kind enough as to elaborate on what he is saying well, no, is that, incorrect, that, and, and why it's incorrect? Well, we would like to hear that if you don't mind. Well, I, 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 what I'm saying is that the, the, the context of it is clearly the whole of St John's Gospel. This issue of the divinity of Christ is, is the question this is why he was, the, he, he was put to death and even Thomas uh, was doubting until that moment and then he finally said oh Lord and oh my God he had reached that point of acknowledging believing in Jesus divinity which was the whole uh, of Jesus's um, having him as an apostle to make him reach that point and then he, he, he finally said you have believe finally you reach this point which I've been bringing you to all the and, 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 and can you, can you yes, look, look, that, that, that is a typical 
a Christian preaching about the nature of Christ from John's Gospel. If you were to study John's Gospel, Jesus doesn't make a claim that he is something like, as you said, when Thomas, I mean, this is the belief, this is a belief. This is a belief that you have taken by distorting the message of Jesus Christ from this. We know from studies done by your scholars, John was putting the words of his own self in the mouth of Jesus when he was writing his gospel. John's Jesus does not represent the historical Jesus and the statements that he uttered because a lot of this are faith driven. John believes Jesus said that because if you go to the earlier gospels like gospel of Mark or gospel of Matthew, you will not find any of these statements at all. So the Christian scholars say John's gospel is not a synoptic gospel, it's a Gnostic gospel. And they, you as a priest, you as a priest, you deceive others by not telling that. Because you know in your studies, this is the reality from historical studies of, and let me finish, hang on, hang on. This is what Christian scholars have come to this consensus that John's gospel is not what Jesus was saying historically, all these I am sayings and so on and so forth, you would not find like these statements in the other Gospels. These are projected statements could, of... Could we, can we just say which, which, which no, Christian on. scholars have said that in order to... Conservative, conservative, evangelical... Yeah. Because this is, this is something which is... Obviously he knows that as a priest, he should do that. He is knows it, that as a priest. Is it, is it correct what he has said, that there are actually Christian scholars who are contending uh, the, the meaning of these verses? Well, to, to answer really briefly, no, but they're not true Christian scholars. They're not true Christian scholars, because, because, because they disagree with it. Because they are not true Christians. Oh, really? But they're scholars nevertheless. The basis of Christianity. That's it. So they're nevertheless, they're scholars of the Bible. Excuse me, excuse me. This is not the sermon. This is a discussion. So if you don't like interruption, you might... Excuse me. If you don't like the discussion, then, you know, you know, find another discussion. But the reality is, priests like yourself, unfortunately, deceive your own self and deceive others. That's what we're trying to understand. Why is that the case? In support of him, and he's saying we don't. But the we, he's including these really un-Christian uh, commentators on the gospel. So, so you, you don't actually agree that these, these are actually Christian scholars? You're saying there are, no, there think, are unbelievers no, uh, or, or maybe of people of different faith. Do they claim to be Christian scholars? Of course they do. Yeah, they do. Conservative so Christians who believe in that. Many, many, yes. yeah. so Just disregard them because of, you know they don't agree with you. Yeah. Interesting uh, approach. Heresy in the church. Heresy. When people, Even the conservative so, 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 ones. So they're heretics. Are, people, in his view they're heretics. No, I'm talking about even the conservative Christians. Yep, and yet they call them heretics because in this case they don't like it. Well, the what, issue what, what, is, do, what, you know, do you, what do you do with okay. a Muslim Let me, who denies the Muslim faith? Would you not call him a heretic? These Christians Would are you conservative. Do you know what that means? Heretic? Are you if saying I, if a Muslim, if they uh, deny the faith, they will be heretics? Yes, but right. I am talking but about conservative Christians. Respect, perhaps you don't understand what conservative Christian agree. means. But obviously, a, a of course, you don't understand what it means. A perhaps a Catholic who doesn't believe in the teaching of the church, or a simple Christian who doesn't really yeah. believe in the gospel. I just want to leave with one thing because I have to go to go to prayer. The the, the, the way Jesus prayed as well, right? Now, in the day of in the day of judgment. When God will ask every single one of you Christians, why did you worship my messenger, my servant, my slave Christ? And you said, no, I thought you were three in one. I worship the Holy Spirit as well. I worship you and worship the Son. Make sure you have a justification handy because in that day, no one can save you. I cannot save you. You cannot save yourself. Your priests, friends or colleagues, your, your, your family, right, well, your I'm teachers not, cannot I'm save you. I'm not finished. In that day, in that day, your family, your friends, no one can save you because God will be just as he's all just every single moment. Because of his justice, those who insulted God by committing this blasphemy, 
by associating a partner with God, saying God has a son or a daughter or a mother or a wife or a niece, whatever, and you worship them besides God. The only place that God is going to put those people is hellfire, from which there will be no coming back. But if you repent, I'm not finished, if you repent and you come back, to the worship of the God of Moses, God of Jesus, God of Abraham, God of Muhammad, peace be upon them all. And you sincerely uphold this belief, you will receive the mercy of God and go into paradise. But if you persist in worshiping a man or a messenger or a servant of God, Hellfire, I have to tell you, my friend, is not a joke. This will be the one-way ticket. Save yourself from that. I have to tell you, we believe So they can be there, all different bodies, but they're one substance. Oh, dear, you're so ignorant. You want to tell me what the truth is. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Have not acknowledged him, have not put their faith in him. And logic. so in the day of judgment, make sure you have a justification handy. day of judgment, you are the ones who will be under nation of God. Okay, who will you see judging? In our faith. Will it be Jesus judging? Who will be judging the day of judgment? Well, uh, yes, Jesus. And where will the Father be? Redundant? Jesus is the judge. Where will the Father be? Redundant? In Jesus' teaching. Yeah, so in the day of judgment, no, in heaven or in the day of judgment, Jesus is judging and where is his father? What is he doing? That's clearly one God, right? You see someone judging and another person doing what? In, in, the, um, in the account of the, yeah. of the last judgment, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. This is Jesus, the Son of Man. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate from one from the other, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on his left. And what will be? What will? What will the? What will the? Will the Lord be doing? What will? What will the Father be doing in your belief? Well, the Father and the Son are united, but this judgment is given to the Son. So he, he will be the judge. Well, the that yeah, and what will the Father be doing then? Well, he is the judge. He's not going to judge. The, Father, no, the, the Son will judge. No, no, they are united in the judgment. No. Who is well, judging according to the text? No, but you make a claim of What does the text say? The gospel, the gospel Why do you misrepresent the text all the time? I'm, I'm reading out the text. Does it say Father will be judging? It says the Son of Man will sit on his Glorious. And who will be judging? Well, the Son of Man, but he will do it on behalf of the Trinity, of course. So he will be judging on behalf of the Trinity. So you have one God. Now, let's understand now the crux of this discussion. You have one God who is sitting on the throne and one God on his right hand side and one God, the Holy Spirit, where? Where is the Holy Spirit there? The other God, number three? I'm sorry. One God sitting on the throne. You have the Trinity, yes. No, no. One God sitting on the throne. Yes. Or half a God, or a third God. Well, if you want to be insulted... I'm not insulting. you better go on being No, no. Insulted. It's a simple so question. You believe in the one, he just one God. Okay. So, one so one the one who is sitting, is he God or a one-third God? He is, he is the one God in three persons. No. The one who is sitting on the throne, is he one-third God or one God? He is one God in three persons. So one God sitting on the throne and one God standing on the right hand side. <laughs> and one God, the Holy Spirit, hovering around. So you will see if with you, your Christian eyes one God. Use insulting language. That's not insulting language, God. that's the reality. It is Bible insulting language. language. That's the belief that you, 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 you are telling us. It's just a bit confusing, so we just wanted some clarification since you are the priest. So he's asking, he's asking quite a valid question there. One God. So who is sitting? One God sitting or one person sitting? Sure, I can appreciate that it may sound 
well, a little is, bit um, it is, it's, it's intentionally forward. insulting language sure. he's using. but will you be insulting able to language. Language. would you be able to clarify it in a more clearer um, uh, you know language to us because well, it, the, God, the question really God, is God, on the day God. who is going to be making the judgment if it is the son of man and you're saying he's on the well, throne see, so then the valid question then arises as to who, where will, what will the father be doing and where will he be? Well, they are united. They, uh, they are one. So the father will appear in the form of Jesus? It's one God. Ba basically, one is that Can right? you ask him that again? Yes. Yes. They are one God. Yeah, but if there are, there are one God... No, one family of three gods. Throughout, Clarify that. Throughout. Not one God, but one family of three gods. Describe as the word. So in this vision uh, that Jesus himself has of the last judgment, it, it's, 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 it's Christians really need to be sincere. There clearly is three gods, but they are one family. I have no problem in calling you a one family of three God worshippers. Well, the church has differing opinions, three persons. and there are differences in, amongst as as as. Uh, no, the Catholic. Faith. Okay, one thing, brother. The Catholic. Faith what faith my Christian priest faith. friend didn't tell you, after all the judgment Jesus has done, do you know what's going to happen? No. He's going to hand everything back to God, so that God can be God of. He could, he's going to hand over everything back to the Holy Spirit or to the Father. No, 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 no. Right. But so that listen, is, that listen. Is not, that is not. What's going to happen? You know that. Ceases. After all the he judgment ceases. is done, yep. everything is going to be handed back to the Holy Spirit or to the Father. So the Father can be the what can he be? The ultimate God, God of all. Now you realize who is the real God. Well, the real God is the three persons. No, one God. no. Ultimately, no everything is handed over back to who? No, no, no. Everything is handed over back to who? Back to who? The God of of the Son. Everything. So now you realize the Father in your Trinitarian belief is the actual God. In our language, to point to people, if you're having a debate, that is something you can learn. Oh, that's yeah, insulting. Yeah, yeah, it's very insulting. I apologize. Well, so thank you. Thank you. Please, yeah, please don't do it again. sure. So what I would like you to do kindly is to contemplate on this and say, look, if I died at this very minute, because I can die the next minute, well, you can die the next minute. You said that. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, I want you to contemplate. Once, you, and when I want look, look, look what you're doing. You're doing one if hand, the, you're doing four hands if, like that. If the new that's rude to me in my if, culture, if perhaps. Well, uh, yes, because I'm, I'm excuse me. trying to tell you, try to, try to be consistent in your criticism. criticism. My, if you say this is rude, my, how about that? No, no, well, hold up a hand. And also, hold when I, hand. that's not holding Mr. up, you are doing you. that. And, excuse me, it's on the camera. Never, it's, never mind. It's a different thing from pointing. My friend, to hold my up friend, hand. I was, I was saying that this contemplate, this contemplate, the consequences of worshipping other than God or besides God. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained, whoever among the Jews and the Christians, people of the book, that they have heard Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about him and did not accept him, do you know where they're going to end up? Jahannam, the fire of Jahannam. This is not a joke with the fire of Jahannam, hellfire. No, so we, I want we, we you believe, to please save yourself from the fire. Well, Accept Islam, the religion of Moses, the religion of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the religion of Jesus, religion of Abraham. Please, please, please accept you, and be you saved. You want to listen to my answer to that? Is, do I'm, we, I'm just asking as a request. I didn't ask you a question. This. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Yeah. Well, we believe in the last judgment yeah. and the judgment will be did you believe in the son I sent into the world no I didn't and and if you didn't well then that will be the your condemnation you believe in the question well, everything yeah. turns on whether we believe in the divinity of Jesus or not fine sure and okay uh, let's we, call it that well, then one thing I stand we can, we can point to in this I have to uh, go and pray whole of the Old Testament leading sure, sure. to war. okay we, we've heard your so, argument we okay thank you, thank you we have much. to go to pray but um, with no offense whatsoever intended it was a heated discussion between yourself and myself for a reason just so that we can really realize what we believe. Very so I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. From both sides. But what I want to go, as I'm going, I stand side by side with Prophet Abraham. He didn't believe that God had a son either. 
So yes, if you condemn me, you condemn Prophet Abraham. Thank you.